Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. There's a phrase you probably heard, my country, right or wrong. What does that mean? Some would call it patriotism, but others, myself included, insist that it is not patriotism, that patriotism is the exact opposite. That we have certain ideals that must be con constantly, that we must constantly strive to fulfill those ideals. And our government and even our people must be held to account when we fail. Martin Luther King, for example, held up a mirror to this country, showing us that we were not treating everyone as equals. So who were the real patriots? Those who followed him or those who resisted him? I think the answer there is pretty obvious. And though we have a ways to go in the civil rights battle, progress has been made and our country is a better place because of it. Because in the long run, holding to our ideals is the best thing we can do for our country. The war in Vietnam was a costly mistake and we were much better off when it was over. So the protesters in that case were right. It's the same thing with the Iraq war. The Iraq war damaged our country It destabilized the Middle East. It gave rise to ISIS. Now, I'm not saying that the people who supported the Iraq war were less patriotic than the people who protested against it. But the people who were against it were a whole lot smarter. And that's the thing. Patriotism requires work. You can't be a patriot if you're too lazy to learn about the issues. You can't be a patriot if you're too lazy to learn about the candidates and what they stand for. You can't be a patriot if you are too lazy to learn about this country's history and what our freedoms mean. Now, there are people who are just simply negative. As far as they are concerned, everything the country does is wrong. And I think I would certainly consider that to be a lack of patriotism. But just simply falling in line, no matter what the country does, is also not patriotism. It's nationalism. It's jingoism. In the long run, the more we try to live up to our values of fairness, equality, and freedom, the better off we'll all be. One example is the voter suppression efforts by Republicans. Since the bedrock, bedrock of democracy is the vote, any attempt to disenfranchise voters is in fact unpatriotic. The various rulings by the Supreme Court to give the rich and the corporations an inordinate influence on our political system go against our fundamental values and are therefore unpatriotic. A true patriot is willing to sacrifice many things for his country, even his life. But a true patriot is not willing to sacrifice our values and our freedoms. Thanks for listening.